Have fun outside right now. We've got some rain. Hopefully most of you are tucked in, ready for bed. Like to moderate rain down in the Sand Hills. Here we are in Sampson, Cumberland, and Hoke County. The thunderstorms, which are starting to fizzle, were just to your south, but you still might hear or see the lightning off in the distance. Bigger picture for our area shows. There's a little pocket of dry air over Wake County right now. That'll come to an end. There's the back edge of this rain. That'll move through about 3 in the morning, but it all will be gone by tomorrow morning's commute and a little bit of excitement for our friends up in the mountain as we're on the verge of the first day of April Saturday. They've got a little bit of snow trying to fall with this system. Nothing long term or that's going to stick, but snow in our state's always exciting, especially in this year when it's been so hard to come by. President's back at home. Air Force One is back in D.C. It's always exciting when a 747 is at RDU. Doesn't happen too often, but it's a wet night out at RDU as we take a live look from our Whitley Law Firm weather camera. It's also a chilly night, 53 degrees. Those temperatures will continue to drop into tomorrow morning. We'll get down to 44, so a chilly start, but a dry start. We'll have the clouds in the morning, and then the rest of your Wednesday, we'll see decreasing clouds, no rain tomorrow, and it will be one of our cooler days on the whole 10-day forecast as we only get up to 61. Remember, even though we've got sunshine, we've got a northerly wind, and that'll help keep temperatures down. And speaking of sunshine, let's go west to Salisbury for tonight's super sunset. Thanks to Tony for traveling out there and capturing this shot. She told me she could not pull over in the side of the road fast enough to capture this. She did a good job. Sun is setting these days, by the way, at 733. Remember, our days continue to get longer and longer as we head towards summer in the next few months. So the rain tonight from the left Overs of that cold front, now a stationary front, a little area of low pressure that developed. That's out of here soon. And then high pressure builds in. Let's fast forward a couple of hours to 2 a.m. when again the bulk of that rain starting to push toward the coast. Maps go into motion. Here we are waking up tomorrow morning, leaving for work and school, 6, 7 a.m. Rain's gone, but we have a few clouds. And then those clouds will slowly move out. Here we are at lunchtime, more sunshine in the afternoon. But again, notice where the clouds are coming from tomorrow. Everything out of the north, and that's a cool flow. So so things will calm down for a couple days, and then they'll get interesting again on Saturday. It's our next big weather maker. It is a cold front that brings a good rain chance. Rain that's not going to last all day Saturday. But again, most everyone will see some rain. It's also going to be windy and warm. Highs around 80 with 30 mile per hour wind gusts. That's a busy first day of April. Luckily, the back half of the weekend will be drier and cooler. But cooler is not a word I'm going to use a lot in the long-term forecast. Look at the 8 to 14-day temperature outlook. Look how much and how intense the warm air is going to be across the eastern half of the United States, including for us. And this takes us all the way to the middle of April. So those of you that are tired of winter, you're going to like what I've got to say now. So a little cooler the next couple of days, though, 61 to 65 Wednesday and Thursday. Then we crank it into the mid 70s Friday, a dry day, but some rain possible at night. Then again, scattered showers looking more likely Saturday for the first day of April, a windy and warm day. Then cooler and dry Sunday with a high of 66. 70s are back Monday and Tuesday. You can tell it's spring because every day is something drastically different. Good chance of rain next Tuesday. And then 80s are back next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And as we just showed you on the 8 to 14 day outlook, I mean, that warm weather is probably going to stick around a while. I did not love having to run my AC last week, uh -huh. but then again, I'm not sure I'm going to be in love with the chilly start tomorrow morning. So